The Real McCoys, starring Walter Brennan, created by Irving Pincus. Want you to meet the family known as the Real McCoys. That's Grandpappy Amos, the head of the clan. He roars like a lion, but he's gentle as a lamb. And now here's Luke, who beams with joy since he may take Mrs. Luke McCoy. From West Virginia they came to stay in sunny California. Oh, Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family know that the real McCoys. no more. Looks more like a big can of tamales. <laughs> well, at least he didn't cover up the windows. Imagine me, Pepino Garcia, with the world's greatest matador for a cousin. I kiss my mother for having a sister who had such a magnificent son. <laughs> well, what's important right now is he, if he was a berry picker instead of a bull sticker. <laughs> you know, I hear tell that south of the border, them bullfighting fellas is more popular than movie stars. Much more. That's why he's going to Hollywood. They're going to make a movie of his life. At last, Hollywood has come of age. <laughs> yeah, and so is our strawberries. While we're standing here talking, our, our whole crop is, is hanging heavy on the vines. El Primero will only honor us for a little while, Senor Grandpa. And I promise you, the berries will not spoil. I will pick night and day. Hey, Pepino. I got the bull song for your cousin, Pepino. That's not the bull song. Give me that. That's the theme song of the Torero. It's like a 22 gun salute to a great matador. Ta -da! Tri -ta -ta! You don't know what it is to be a torero. Countries invite Fernando Garcia. Kings and queens say, Be my guest. Crowds line the streets yelling, Beautiful senoritas throw flowers. Ay, caramba, torero. Viva Fernando! Pino, that chili lunch you're cooking on the stove is just bubbling, growling. Oh, wait for my cousin while I take a look. Why oh, thought you that record? Pino's proud as a peacock, that cousin of his. He sure is, Luke. He say, do you suppose this Fernandy fellas has been learned enough American so he, he, he can understand us whilst we're talking? Oh, sure, sure, Grandpa. Any fellas been hobnobbing with kings and queens ought to have learned enough to be able to talk to us. <laughs> Pepino, are you sure this stuff is safe? <laughs> Just about ready. My eyes are watering. <laughs> Maybe a little more Tobasco. <laughs> Pepino, I think your cousin's coming. There's a big white car coming down the road. He's here. He's here. Viva Fernando! <laughs> Viva Fernando! It's him, El Primero, my cousin Fernando. Is he not magnifico? Viva Fernando! What do we say? How are we supposed to act? Yeah, I guess you can't go wrong with a wave and a cheer. <laughs> Welcome, my cousin Fernando. My first cousin, Fernando. Welcome. Happy Nolito. It's a pleasure to see you. Gracias, Matador. Gracias. And now I would like you very much to introduce you to my adopted family. This is Senora Kate McCoy. Howdy. How gracious that one as lovely as you would expose yourself to the broiling sun to welcome this weary traveler. Much obliged. <laughs> this is Senorita Hasi McCoy. We've heard so much about you. <laughs> I was delayed because Manuelo, my man who drives and handles the traveling details, is no longer with me. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is little Luke McCoy. The music, the music. <laughs> this is Senor Luke McCoy. How do? And now the head of the McCoys, Senor Grandpa McCoy. Your servant, sir. Holy. <laughs> Brandy, you're welcome to the hospitality of our humble home. Just as long as you want to stay this afternoon. <laughs> Sixty thousand people in the Plaza de Toros. The greatest crowd at a corrida in the history of Spain. Chanting, El Primero, El Primero. And Manuel, my man, is pleading with me. Only yesterday you were gored. And today you face the fiercest bull of all. You will be no match for him. You will be killed. <clears throat> well, I told him, Manuelo, what 
will be, will be. The proud must stir. The bull, treacherous, cunning. And in that final moment, we faced each other. Then the horns lowered. The moment of truth. An eternity of silence. Then the great head raised. The horns reached for me. The bull was quick, but I was quicker. Oh, aha! <laughs> You never hear about the time when I was treated by a bear, did you? <laughs> it was a big bear. And a small tree. Yes, of course. Senor McCoy. I have dined on Canard Passé at Le Grand Before in Paris, savored the fettuccine at Alfredo's in Rome, but never, never have I tasted anything as heavenly as your hot tamales. Well, thank you very much, but... Peppino done it all by himself. Peppino? A little something I threw together in the spur of a moment. <laughs> Peppino, you have the touch of gold in your fingers. Gracias, Matador. When I lost Manuelo, I thought that I would never taste cooking like his again. <laughs> Yeah, well, senor, now that we've all gorged ourselves... Uh, why don't we retire to the parlor? Of course. Give it, brother. Wasn't there ever a time when you thought you weren't going to make it, that you, you didn't have a chance? Oh, many times, senora. You, well, what kind of chance do you think I had with that beer snapping up my hip pockets? And... <laughs> no gun, no knife, no nothing. How did you save yourself, senor? Well, I'll tell you what I've done. The first time we heard it, he took off his shoe and dropped it down the bear's throat and choked him to death. And the second time, he just bent that tree like a slingshot and flang himself into the river. And the third time, he dropped out of the tree on top of the bear and just wrestled him right out of his fur coat. <laughs> Well, for your information, there was three different bars. <laughs> ah, gracias, Peppino. Right again. Oh, permiso. Café espresso? Delicioso. <laughs> Peppino, did you make this too? I pounded each coffee bean separately. There was only one other man who could make espresso like this, and that was Manuelo. But yours is much better. Oh, oh, oh well, I must be going. My gratitude for your kindness and hospitality. Oh, I enjoyed your amusing story about the three little bears. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I may crave your indulgence, you see, Pepino is the closest of all my first cousins, and I would like a moment to say adios to him alone. Of course. Adios, my friends. Bye. Bye, Bye to you. Three little bears. <laughs> I never seen such gall as that fist kisses gut. Oh now, Grandpa, El Primero didn't mean nothing. He's just an educated, charming gentleman. Oh yeah, well you'd say that on account of the slobbering and done all of your hand there. <laughs> Grandpa, there's nothing wrong with polite manners. It might be some people around here could take a few lessons. Oh, they is. Yeah, well, maybe you do a favor for me, Mrs. Cena Reader. <laughs> what might that be? Wash that hand before you get for supper. <laughs> so, you are settled, eh, Pepino? Si, sí, si. Sí. Pepino Garcia, farmer. You work hard, and you live in a nice little house. Oh, no, Matador. I don't live in the house. I got my own room, the barn. <laughs> the barn? Si, sí, it's very nice. All to myself. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. 
With such tremendous opportunities before you, you choose to live in a barn? But I like it. I'm very happy with all my friends and... Opportunities? What opportunities? Listen to me, Pepino. You are a Garcia, are you not? Si. Your blood is my blood, is it not? Si, si. We are of the same family. We share the same heritage, do we not? Si, si, si. Then, Pepino, we face the same destiny. We are matadors. It is for us to face the fiercest of bulls before a thousand eyes, to hear their cheers thunder in a hundred plazas, in a hundred cities. <laughs> but, Matador, I know nothing of the bulls. Pepino, what a matador must have here, you have. What you must learn, I can teach you. You, el primero? I never even dreamed that you would think of doing something like that for me. I can't believe what you're telling me. We are cousins, aren't we? Of course, one doesn't become a matador overnight. It takes practice, training, learning, patience, little by little. But in the meantime, of course, you can occupy yourself with other things. A little cooking, a little sewing. <laughs> See to a few of my needs. Hey, compadre. Si, sí, compadre. <laughs> I will be finished with my business in Hollywood in a few days. I can pick you up then. This will give you time to pack, to clean up your affairs, and to say goodbye to the McCoys before you begin your new life of pleasure and dignity. The door. <laughs> of course. I'll be back. I'll be ready. After all, how long does it take to pack a tie? <laughs> then there's nothing left but to say goodbye to the McCoys. Adiós, matador. Say goodbye to the McCoys. Probably the time it took to say goodbye to that old fathead. <laughs> well, why are you picking at Pepino's cousin so mean? Well, I just don't like him, Luke. I just don't like him. And it ain't because of that... Duty shirt he wears, neither. You have one? Well, now that you had practical whole day's coffee break, how about doing a little work around here? Well, I have something I... Well, you see, I got something to say. Well, say it, say it, say it! <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going... Where are you going? Out to pick strawberries. <laughs> If you weren't such an amateur bull, I'll jump in there and I'll give you a lesson you'll never forget. <laughs> Afraid, huh? <laughs> And now I got something to say. Well, now I got something to say to you first. You know, we could have lost half of this crop on account of the heat. But you work so hard, you have to save it. Now, I want you to know we're proud of you. And you're just as much McCoy as any of us here. You always was and you always will be. Well, that means more to me than anything. <laughs> now, what was you going to say? Well, I was going to say goodbye. Bye? What do you mean, Pepino? I mean, I'm going away. Going away? See, sí, tomorrow with my cousin Fernando. To Madrid, to Barcelona, to be a matador. I told you that El Primo was a sneak. I know it. <laughs> working your heart out to help us. You was working hard so you can run out on us, that's what. Grandpa. Pepino. Have you given this a lot of thought? Si, sí, señora, Kate. Then we got no reason to stop you. But we can stop him from making a fool of himself. Now, Grandpa, it could be he's giving him a big chance. Big chance? He's giving a lot of big, fat talk. That's what he's giving him. Well, he knows as well as I do, Pepino would not never make no matador. But that's not true, Senor Grandpa. I come from a famous family. I got Garcia blood in my veins. Yeah, and when you get in the ring with that bull, you're going to lose a lot of it, too. <laughs> now, look, Pepino, he don't want you to be no bullfighter. He wants you to be a girl during seven, like this Maniela fella. Oh, no, Senor Grandpa. He wants me to be a matador. He's a Garcia. I'm a Garcia. Now, look, Pepino. I always figured you was one of us. But as of today, I am firing you from the McCoy family. 
And when you find out that you ain't no cowfighter and that you deserted your family for nothing, then don't come back here, because us and you is finished. Pepino, you know Grandpa didn't mean that. Of course not. We'll talk to him and... Please, Senor okay? Senor look, I understand. And even though I've been fired from your family, I'll always feel I'm still a McCoy. of a bull, I don't have too much patience left. <laughs> oh, afraid, huh? Uh, get ready, big mouth. Pepino Garcia Matador is coming after you. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 ah Matador! my goose, and now I'll have to sleep in it. <laughs> Buenos dias. Buenos dias, compadre. Good morning, Senora Kate, Senor Luke. Good morning, Pepino. Well, Pepino Lito, you are now ready, eager, dying to begin, huh? Si, si. Well, we must drive to the hotel and then the airport. So, I will say again, adios. It's been a great pleasure. Pepino, you will drive. See. Si. Well, I guess this is really goodbye. Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Take care of yourself, Pepino. Oh, here's a picture of all of us. And do right. Oh, sure. And you will always know where I am from the newspaper. Well, tell the kids and Senor Grandpa, I said so long. Well, I guess this is really goodbye. Oh, no, no, Pepino. The back door. Well, how am I going to drive from the back seat? <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> no, I will sit in the back. Oh, Pepino, if you don't mind, just for appearance sake, the press photographers at the airport, you know. If you don't mind wearing this. <laughs> Once again, my dear friends, adios. No, 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 no. My door first. Then your door, compadre. You mean I have to open your door, my brother? See, si, see. Si. Oh, it's pitiful. It's pitiful. <laughs> compadre, you've forgotten the door. Well, I opened it, didn't I, my brother? And so now you will close it my cousin. <laughs> but amigo, if you're sitting back there, why can't you do it? Because... <sighs> I prefer that you do it. Well, I prefer that I don't do it. And I also prefer that I don't sit in the front seat all by myself. And I don't prefer to wear this hat, too. <laughs> 
jefe, Pino. I am Garcia. Same as you. And if I have to be a peon before I can be a matador, maybe I don't prefer that also. <laughs> Suave que no me quiere en la casa, pero no le voy a pedir perdón. No. Apologize, ¿no? ¿eh? I don't apologize. I might not be enough of a Garcia to be a torero, but I'm still a McCoy. And a McCoy don't apologize, even when they're wrong, right? <laughs> well, even if I do love you. I'll just go back to Mexico City and start all over again. Yeah, Pepino, there ain't no need for you to go rushing off no place. Of course not. We want you to stay right here. And Grandpa does too, don't you, Grandpa? Now you hush up, all of you. I'm the head of this family, and I talk for myself. And every one of you McCoys does just what I say, see? Now, Pepina, you take your things, and you get them back in the barn and get to work. Ole? Ole! I kiss your hand. No, 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 no. Come on, kid. I'm staying, girl, I'm staying! Ah! Ingle, go. Don't stay. 